This is more than a community, this is a family. We're leaving from Minnesota, uh, Iowa, Wisconsin, Michigan, uh, Washington, and we're all meeting in Nebraska for the High Plains Riot. A rat rod is, in my words, and everybody's got their own description of a rat rod. To me, the number one rule is original patina. Leave the body as an original state as possible and do anything else you want to it. 100% blue collar hot rod. The people that are here, and I'll guarantee it, 90% of them are gonna be dirty. And by dirty, Roger means the people here work with their hands, build shit, and drive the hell out of it. The greater the effort, the greater the reward. And there's no greater reward than driving the machine you built by hand across America. The thing that sets uh, the rat rod community apart from the shiny uh, world of cars is the people. The people are the like none other in this whole planet that I've ever been around. They are the nicest people and uh, they're the most loyal people that you've ever met. They just go out of their way for anybody and everybody. Helping each other on the road or at a show is part of the Rat Rod Code. When something breaks, people rally around each other and get whoever and whatever back on the road always without question. Because the road, the drive, that's where your soul is free. And that, my friends, is where rat rod culture truly lives. Welcome to the High Plains Riot. This is what it's all about. A little bit of rust, a little bit of patina, a whole lot of creativity. This is the destination of the OP Build-Off National Cruise-In and people from all over the country. And a lot of really big shit. A rat rod is a vehicle that you build out of accumulated parts. They're definitely like a Frankenstein uh, monster. I like, I like my car to be as natural patina as I can get it. Natural patina and rust are what really set the rat rod scene aside from all others. That and a sense of community, blue collar work ethic, and a build-to-drive mentality are the foundations of rat rod culture. It truly is a lifestyle. My name's Kevin Martin, I'm from Spokane, Washington, and we're part of Rat Shit Crazy Rat Rod. It's extraordinarily family-oriented. It's uh, uh, my brothers are brothers for life, and I'm meeting more here today. It, it's, it's a lifetime thing. What Jeremiah Gardner and his family are cultivating here is family. Make no doubt about it. If there's good to be done through community, it's happening right here. The puppet master. <laughs> He's doing good things. Build it, drive it, live it. And hey, have some damn fun, people. Talk to a rat rotter for five minutes and you'll have a friend for life. These are real people doing really, really cool things.
it's all about fun, right? Mm -hmm. yep. I mean, if you're not having fun, why are you doing it? Exactly. You said it, family. You'll hear the word family a lot because there's no other way to describe it. Family, friends, fun. And people from all walks of life, transcending generations, all here to enjoy good company, badass builds, and small town America. I think my wife Angie, we both build uh, rat rods. Uh, I do the fabric fabricating, she does all the welding pretty much on everything. She doesn't even let me touch a welder anymore. That's right guys, rat rod culture is full of amazing women. Just ask Build Off winner Ashley or any number of badass ladies involved in this community. We love our new family, our rat rod family, and our rat rod community. We love them all. Fuck on man, OP build off, can't beat it. Everybody helps everybody out. Whether you you've only met the person for five minutes or you've known them for five years. A rat rod for us is just a old car, or old truck that we find out under a tree and we bring it back to life. It, Put everything that your touches, your you, what you want in it, and it's just a lot of them is just what you find around that you put together and make it run. My definition personally of a rat rod is is an old school natural patina uh, a build that you would pick something off the barn floor and throw it on your car and make it work. I would say blue collared backyard hot rods, absolutely, that's what these are. And what do you do when you build something? Enjoy it, of course. Use it, whatever way you want. Old vintage steel in motion. They put it in motion, whether it's burning off your tires, spinning the cars around, driving down the road. No, not everyone is in the burnouts but you can't deny the entertainment value. Yeah, this guy over here, he's gonna, he's gonna burn that thing to the ground. We're all gonna get to watch him. One by one, they burn them up, spin them around, and basically do whatever they want or can to entertain this energetic crowd of spectators. Pretty good crowd here, too. Who thought burning rubber would be such a spectator's sport? In a perfectly imperfect crescendo of horsepower. Hey, everybody's having a good time. This is a proper tribute to American Rust. <laughs>